What's up everyone, my name is Manuel Gartner Fernandez and you're watching Sound Advice. Now we're going to talk about my production um, point of view, especially when it comes to my guitar processing. Um, what my idea behind, what, what is my idea behind this? Um, it is to create something that sounds like a guitar sample instead of like a recorded, like a proper recorded guitar. The idea behind that is the whole concept in trap and hip hop music because you don't want the focus on the instrument itself, you want to look at the song. And um, instead of doing a reverb or a delay on your guitar, I um, pitch it down an octave or pitch it up an octave to create this sample character I have but without losing the elements, the proper elements of the guitar. How I do that is I record a guitar riff and then I show you what I do um, with Ableton and with the functions in Ableton that we, we, we have to kind of destroy the guitar tone behind it. So yeah, let's start with the riff. <laughs> We have that riff. The chain is not not crazy. It has like a compressor, and the threshold is really high to really um, you can hear every note I play. Then, and I used the Ableton Echo Fuzz with a distortion, chorus, and reverb. So what I do now is I cut the track and I pitch it down an octave, like that. What is pretty cool is that you can play, when it comes to Ableton, I'm aware that um, not everyone has Ableton, but I'm sure a lot of digital workstation has this function to kind of play with the formants and the envelopes when it comes to the guitar signal. So what I do is I play with the formants. case it you have like this sample character you want to have um, my most my most important um, thing is that it doesn't sound like a proper modern recording when you pitch it like in for example five semitones it still has this kind of destroyed not clean guitar tone to it <laughs> sounds like a very old recording then. Um, what I love to do, especially with guitar tapping harmonics, is I take a riff and then I pitch the signal um, an octave up, but I'm com in combination with my um, played signal, recorded signal, to give it more like the sparkling tone, like that. So what I do here, I again cut the track and I duplicate it and the track I cut I am going to pitch up an octave and then you have that song. And that's just in combination with my recorded signal and um, the solo signal of the high pitch sounds like that. It's really chipmunky, but in combination with the recorded signal, it really works, especially in the mix. Um, so you can hear like the high frequency and the text of the strings. 
So yeah, that was my approach when it comes to guitar production. Um, I hope you can, yeah, use it in, in your work and kind of figure out what suits you the best. Um, so yeah, thank you.